Hello. It's time to show me the square. We'll look at some quadratic expressions and decide, is it a perfect square or is it not a perfect square? Let's take a look at our first expression of the day, x squared plus 2x plus 1. We've got an x squared tile here, 2x's and 1 unit. Not a perfect square in this configuration. Let's move it around and see what we can get. Aha! If I move that, split those x's in half, I get a oh, perfect square! Yay for the day! And this perfect square has a dimension here of x plus 1 and a side dimension of x plus 1, and that's what makes it a square. It's the sides are equal. There's another way we can write this. We can write this as x plus 1 because of the sides squared. Yay, our first square of the day. Let's see about our next expression. Let's see if we have another one. Here it is. I feel like we should have a drum roll or something. x squared minus 4x plus 4. Is it a square? Here is the x squared tile. And we need four negative x's and four positive units there. It's looking kind of like a rectangle, not a square. But if you'll notice, if we take half of these x's here and move them on down, then we end up with something that maybe is a perfect square because it's got side length, uh, both of them are the same. But let's see if this these units completed or not. Do they make it a square? Yes. And we can verify that, that four units fit here because two times two equals four. So the dimensions of this are what? What do you think? Before I reveal, did you say x minus two times x minus two? I bet you did. And if we wrote that out, we'd say x minus 2 squared. Okay, so we're 2 for 2. We've got two perfect squares so far today. Let's see if we can go for another one. All right, we've got x squared plus 6. It doesn't look promising to be a perfect square, does it? We might be out of, off of our roll. So x squared, and let's see, we need positive 6x's. See, that's 4. I need 2 more, and there are no units. Okay, so we know that if we take half of the x's and move them down here, now we have a fighting chance of this being a perfect square that has a dimension x plus 3 and x plus 3. But the problem we're having is we don't have any unit tiles to go here. Okay, so what are we going to do? It's almost a square, but it's not a perfect square. We're missing something. How many unit tiles do you think would go here? While I pull my tiles out, you think about that for a minute. So 3 times 3, are you thinking 9 would complete this square? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Aha! If you said 9, you are correct. So what we actually did was we added 9 unit tiles to this to make it a perfect square. It wasn't. It was an almost square, and now we made it a perfect square square.